All right, last year you may have seen our video about how we put together our stump grinder. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out a few stumps. So we're gonna go from small crepe myrtles, uh, medium oak, and then a, a large oak. So come with me, let's do some stump grinding. went ahead and used the blower to blow this off so I could see better. The, the roots go way down. I actually thought we were closer to the bottom than we were because the sawdust was covering everything. Man, that uh, that 32 chain, it, uh, it does kick a little bit more than the 25 that was on there before. But you wouldn't believe how good a new chain feels. It just keeps, it just eats right through it. You don't even have to push or anything. It's so nice to have a new chain. Well, we lost our chain, it came off. We're gonna put that back on in just a minute after the motor cools, but in the meantime, I'm gonna grab some lunch and some water. It is hot and humid. It is humid today. All right, we stopped for some food and water, had some rain and we're back. It's getting pretty low to the ground and I'm getting tired of bending down to the ground to do some chainsawing. So we're gonna try to just start with the stump grinder here. If it's too high, you're trying to go on it, it'll make it kick, the stump grinder will kick. But we'll try it, we'll start with the low one, see how it goes, I'm pretty sure that'll be fine and then we'll go with a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're out of gas, so we're gonna go fill up, but the little part was easy, pretty easy. It is oak, so it's a little tough going. But the, the bigger part is a little bit slower just because there's so much more mass to go through. But overall, I'd say it's, it's not that bad. Um, the middle is easy because it, it is kind of rotten, so that's pretty, pretty good. It is gonna take a while to get this whole thing down. So it's a matter of, do you wanna use the chainsaw or do you wanna use the stump grinder to let it do its job and just kind of sit there and let it eat down instead of having to get down on the ground with a chainsaw. Let's go fill up on gas and let's keep going. I actually found it easy to leave the left wheel lock and as I'm going around in a counterclockwise fashion, I let the stump grinder pull itself around counterclockwise. That is a massive amount of sawdust right there. I know there's more tree stump under there, so I can't see it, so we're gonna go get a blower and a rake and try to clear this out so we can see what we're doing. That's phase one, phase one is complete. Okay, after using the blower, you can see there's plenty left, so we're gonna have round two on this. Let me show you what we found in the dirt, though. It's a good thing that we used the blower to blow all that, that sawdust away. Let's see what we got. Big old rock, old ratchet strap, metal wire, and some long bolt nut washer combinations probably used to have some wood in there. We don't want to run that through the stump grinder. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're back for round three. I just spent about five or 10 minutes using the blower to clear it off again. I ended up chasing a root on that last round, so it took me a little bit away, but I cleared it out and we, we still have stump left. So there's stump. Well, we, we are gonna have to get some of those roots. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here is where our stump was. You can see it, there's a, a root going off that way, a root going there, and the one I was chasing is over there. So if we can get those three plus a little bit more of the core stump here. We should be pretty good, at least to mow over. Here's an example of some part of the stump that's just at grade. So we're gonna go down, try to take this down even further. Uh, probably about four inches or so, or maybe six just to get it down under the dirt so it can, number one, break down a compost and if the dirt washes away, it won't be exposed. Uh, we won't hit it with the mower or anything. So let's get rid of this. Okay, I think the stump is gone. The only thing left to do is sort of walk on it, kick some in the holes, flatten it out, make sure you didn't miss anything. If you do, just go back and catch those little bits. Throw away the extra pieces you don't wanna mow over. All total with this stump grinder, I think I've taken down 12 stumps, but this is by far the biggest one. Don't let it fool you, it'll take a while. I think if I had my time right, it was two hours and 45 minutes of pretty much solid grinding or blowing away something. But at least now we got it to where we can mow over it, no problem. It's gonna take a while to grow back. I've kinda, I tried to spread it out a little bit so it didn't mulch itself completely. Uh, I can see grass poking through, so it shouldn't take too long. You know, by next year it should look pretty good. Okay, so how did everything go between this tree, the crepe myrtles, the other oak? So we did small, medium, and large. The small was the crepe myrtles. There was actually three of them, but the third one, I'd say it came up in less than 30 seconds, the whole thing, gone. Uh, now the other two crepe myrtles, I'd say they took about a minute to two minutes, uh, certainly no more than three or four minutes to get each one of those, each one out. Now the, the medium tree, uh, we're talking 30 minutes, the stump and the roots and everything. And this one, we're looking at almost three hours. The stump, the roots, the roots go out, you gotta chase them down, you gotta get those below grade. Uh, at least good enough so uh, you're not going to bump into them with the mower and you're not going to 
uh, trip on them. You just want it to look nice, right? You gotta clear it out. Every time you do that stump grinder, it's just so much sawdust. Now the sawdust you can use in your chicken coop run. Uh, you can mulch it, you can do whatever you want with it, but chicken runs are good for it. We probably had about five rounds here. One, the first round, and then blower, second round blower, third round blower, just trying to clear it out. So much sawdust. Kick it with, uh, get, wear some good boots, uh, so when you're stump grinding it doesn't get in your boots and your shoes. And then you can also kick it with some steel toes and you can kind of kick that sawdust out and use the blower. Works pretty good, I didn't even bring in a rake. This is the Power King stump grinder. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, bought it from your big box store. It works pretty well. I've taken out a dozen trees so far and of all different sizes and it just keeps on trucking. All right, it is, man, it is time for some water. I need me like one of them ice popsicles. Woo! It is humid out here. It's not even that bad. This is a good day, actually. I really hope this helps somebody if you're thinking about renting or buying and uh, if you need some guidance on how it would be to get rid of a nasty stump like these. So, all right, thank you for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next time on Homestead Y'all.